It's the Diamond K Show. So much going on in the world. You talk about things from the perspective of how it is. DJ Diamond K, sometimes it comes off like you are almost not in support of, but you just accept the way things are and there's no chance of change. Check me out on YouTube. That's the part that I am just like, argh. On FireTV.com. Welcome back. Welcome back. You man, Diamond K in here, of course. The Diamond K Show on fire-tv.com happy monday to everyone a lot of things to get into a lot of topics that i have on my desk that we need to dissect i hope that you had a great mother's day uh for those that uh this time that holiday is difficult i definitely send uh my uh, thoughts and prayers to you strength and all of that during um you know uh, what is a difficult season episode 1507 of the diamond K show. As I said, a lot of things, uh, a Texas woman was killed by her boyfriend after she got an abortion. Yeah. We're going to talk about that. Of course, John Morant suspended once again, after a video shows the grizzly star with a gun again. Some people just don't learn. An explosion in downtown Baltimore has injured four people. We're going to talk about that. An Ohio man was arrested for setting his dad's girlfriend on fire and knocking out her teeth. It's a crazy story there. In New York City, a hospital Karen caught on video trying to steal a city bike from a young black male. Caught, though. A woman gets 30 years for sexually exploiting an infant and recording it. We're going to talk about that also. Cash App founder uh, was reportedly having an affair with the sister of his alleged killer. Jermaine Dupree has thoughts on Lotto, and he says that the media now pays attention to her because she is vulgar. And we're going to talk about the world's first pillow fighting league. The world's first pillow fighting league. All this and much more today on the Diamond K Show. Stay tuned. Just a uh, uh, a sad story um, out of Texas. We talk about uh, abortion and the such uh, often on the show. But a Texas man, um, just like I said, this is this is just a, a a crazy story. A Texas man shot and killed his girlfriend. Why did he do this? He learned that she traveled out of town to get an abortion, something that he obviously did not want her to do. Many folks have different thoughts on abortion, and and I understand that. I understand that some people don't like abortion. But according to the Dallas Morning News, Gabriela Gonzalez, who was 26 years old, with her boyfriend, right? Harold Thomas, 22 years old, Wednesday of last week, he put her in a chokehold. According to the arrest warrant affidavit, she had returned the night before from Colorado where she had gone and gotten an abortion. So this is a sad story. Of course, it is believed that the suspect was the father of the child. It is uh, noted in the affidavit, the suspect did not want Gonzalez to get an abortion. He did not want her to get an abortion. Uh, and this 22-year-old took matters into his own hands, sadly. Security footage from the parking lot shows Gabriella shrugging him off. And the two continued walking. He then pulled out a gun and shoots Gabriella in the head. Shoots her in the head. She falls to the ground and uh, uh, 
Harold shoots her multiple times before running away. Shoots her multiple times before running away. Just a just a brazen, callous, sick, sick uh, act. But he was arrested later on Wednesday of last week, held in Dallas County Jail without bond. Yeah, I, I just, I, I don't like anything about this story. Don't like anything about this story. Uh, you know, you, you cannot like abortion. You can not have approved of what happened, but we have got to understand. We have got to accept that it is the woman's body. It is... It is her right. And, you know, you have no you have no reason to even think about doing something like this. Some people are going to support this. Some people are going to say she killed the baby. So therefore he can kill her. And and, and that's what we are seeing. Uh, Texas, uh, a state that is 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 definitely. Um, heavy uh, with gun violence. And, you know, this is just another sad story. Um, let me know your thoughts, of course, in the comment section, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok, at the Diamond K Show. I mean, they could have talked about this. They could have talked about this. Why he thinks shooting her I mean, she, you know, she already committed a sin in your eyes. Then you shooting her. What, what does that do? What does that do? Just a, uh, a sad, sad, sad story here. So you have the three lives destroyed. Why? Over this. I mean, abortion is something that we have been debating and arguing for years. But I, I don't see with this Supreme Court that we have, I, I don't see this being solved any time soon. Looking for food that feeds your soul? Hoodfellas Bistro and Catering is your local African-American-owned restaurant offering American cuisine. Located across from the courthouse, we offer daily jury specials to reward civic duty. Enjoy our full-service restaurant and fully stocked bar. Dine in, pick up, delivery, and catering. Our themed happy hours feature live music, handcrafted drinks, and weekly specials. Book your private event at hoodfellowsbistrocatering.com. Thank you for tuning in to On Fire TV. We are a 24-hour independent news and entertainment channel. We produce original movies, documentaries, reality-based shows, and podcasts. On Fire TV is made possible because of viewer and listener support. Go to onfire-tv.com to become an On Fire Plus member. Your dollars and your support have kept us going, and we are just getting started. Welcome back. Welcome back. You man, Diamond K. And here, of course, the Diamond K Show on all social media at the Diamond K Show. So an explosion in downtown Baltimore has injured four people that were working on a water main break. So these uh, four individuals were injured after a steam pipe explosion last night, Sunday night in downtown Baltimore. City fire officials said that emergency crews were called around 6.30 p.m. to the 400 block of West Pratt Street near Utah Street for the report of a steam pipe explosion. Mud and debris covered the ground. Three people taken to the hospital and a fourth person was treated by paramedics, according to the mayor's office. Those who were injured su suffered non-life-threatening injuries. Fire officials said that crews from the uh, Baltimore Gas and Electric, BGE, 
the Department of uh, Public Works and the City Office of Emergency Management were on the scene. It was a mess. The mayor's office said that BGE crews were working to install a gas line. And uh, BGE said that its crews struck an unmarked pipe causing the water leak. DPW was contacted and the leak caused the steam line to rupture. BGE said the steam system in the area has since been turned off. Electric and gas service was definitely affected. Water outages were reported at the Marriott Inner Harbor and, and Hilton Baltimore hotels and surrounding businesses. Um, but uh, they're working to determine the cause of the steam release. There were closures on Pratt Street, Green Street, Howard Street, Utah, um, Pratt and Lombard Street, and uh, they were detours on MLK uh, Boulevard. But um, they really advised the public to avoid the area yesterday where there were a lot of shutdowns. Uh, you know, it, it, these things, of course, happen. These things, of course, happen. You got a, a city like Baltimore uh, or any major city. Stuff is going to go down. So um, definitely glad that there were no, uh, I guess, serious injuries. Uh, but we're definitely going to keep you posted uh, with regards to that. It's the Diamond K Show on FireTV.com. Thanks for tuning in to the Diamond K Show, of course. I am here weekdays, 6 p.m., and, uh, of course, on demand anytime you want to uh, check out the program. You can do that on fire-tv.com. Anywhere you get your podcast, just search The Diamond K Show. So an Ohio man, I, I mean, this, uh, this, this story is, uh, is crazy. An Ohio man is behind bars facing charges that allegedly he set up I don't know, set his stepmom on fire, knocked her teeth out. When officers arrived at the scene, they found uh, a woman in the backyard with severe burns. And um, it is reported that he knocked out her teeth. Now, strangely, he's saying that he doesn't remember any of this. He's saying that he does not remember any of this taking place. Um, let's uh, check this out. A Fairfield Township man is in jail tonight after allegedly setting his father's fiance on fire. She jumped from a second floor window still in flames and flagged down a neighbor for some help. Local 12's Luke Jones is live at UC Medical Center tonight where that woman is in critical condition. Evening there, Kyle, and firefighters say that woman has second degree burns covering half of her body. Time was really of the essence here and that's why they're so grateful a neighbor caught on to what was happening and called them in time. His dog's frantic barking, alerting Dennis Williams to the frantic woman in the yard that backs up to his. He leaps across this fence to find her covered in soot and burns. She's like, he set me on fire, please help me, please help me. She was on the second floor of her fiancé's home on Arroyo Ridge Court in Fairfield Township when her fiancé's son, Robbie Robinson Jr., attacked her and then set her on fire. She definitely had a visible uh, injury to her face, her... Um, Mouth was busted up pretty bad. I saw blood um, and what looked like swelling all on her face. Desperate to make it out alive, she makes a daring leap from the second floor window. Three floors up if you count the basement. I can only imagine the pain and fear she was going through from fire to being attacked. I can only imagine how she felt. <laughs> He left back across this fence, ran up to his house to grab his phone and dial 911. The fire department got here in just two minutes. Earlier we get called when somebody's hurt or when there's a fire, it makes a huge difference. Investigators from the state fire marshal's office were here for hours. They walked out with brown baggies and evidence markers. We also saw the victim's fiancé in medical scrubs, leaving the home with suitcases. We've confirmed he's a registered nurse, and neighbors say he was at work when this happened. His son surrendered at the house and is now charged with aggravated arson and felonious assault. I've never noticed anything or seen anything dramatic happen there. So, yeah, I mean, it, it, it is just it's such a bizarre story. Uh, they have a police body camera footage of the apprehension. As I said, this Ohio man accused of 
knocking his stepmother's teeth out, father's girlfriend, and uh, setting her on fire. We're looking at police body camera footage of the arrest. Yeah, so I, I, I don't I don't understand. I, I just I, I don't understand uh, this uh, level of violence that we are currently seeing. Just a just a, a, a crazy situation. Have you ever heard of such? Have you ever heard of anything crazy like this? Now, according to the Daily Mail, we were just looking at uh, footage there. Uh, according to the Daily Mail. He doesn't know or remember anything about the incident. Robbie showed up to the scene after the incident and acted like he did not know what was going on. I don't know what happened. Uh, you can hear him saying uh, it just went off. Uh, the uh, lady that was uh, the victim here, Brenda, reportedly jumped from the second floor of their home. And uh, as I said, she was found severely burned. Uh, with um, who knows what the degree of the burns were, but the emergency services arrived on the scene. It is not clear, of course, what led to the incident or um, how she managed to escape. You hear the police saying that she jumped. Robbie is facing charges of a first degree aggravated arson and second degree a felonous assault and is due to appear in court uh, on the 17th of this month just craziness just craziness let me know your thoughts in the comment section instagram facebook twitter linkedin tiktok at the dominic hay show uh this ohio man 23 years old facing uh facing some major charges major charges we'll I'll be back with more of this program after this you're watching onfire-tv.com featuring news interviews and entertainment Broadcasting from Radio On Fire Studios in Baltimore, Maryland, here's your host, Diamond K. Oftentimes, you hear us speaking about, I don't know, what, what do they call Karens? You hear uh, folks talking about a Karen. This, this one, this is, this is a Karen. That is a Karen. Now, this situation here, I mean, for far too long, we have seen women, white women, act in this way. This, this sense of entitlement, this sense of, uh, you know, I deserve everything, I can have everything, lying, lying on black men. Uh, it, is, it is something that we have been seeing happen. For the longest time. Not cool. Not cool at all. Uh, but I, I really. Um, I really commend. These gentlemen for the way that they handled. This latest Karen situation. Uh, the way that they handled this. Uh, these these young men that need to be commended. Uh, because it, it is it is just crazy. Let's listen to this. Here's some footage of, uh, of of the lady, you know. And as we as we said, this this tactic of um, of Karens just lying, lying on black men. We have seen this happen numerous times in this country. Numerous times. Um, let's see. Help me! Please help me! Please help me! Please help me! Please help me! Help! Please get off me! Wait, what the fuck is going on? Please get off me! Now you're not getting the face, bro. Now you're not getting the face. Help! Why you took your phone? What's wrong with you? Don't touch your phone. Don't touch your phone. I'm not touching you. You put a stomach on my head. Help! That dude, stop! No, that dude, stop! No, 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 no. Please I said no. Help. I said, sit down. Guys, guys, guys. Please help. 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 Help.
Hey, son, you pulled it out? Uh, this is my bike. This is on my account. Yeah, Please move. All right, so why don't we set, reset the bike? I'm yeah. not resetting the bike. It's his. It's his. It's his. I'm going to pull it out on your account. You're an actor. I don't give a fuck. That's just my bike. Quiet. Guys, just speak quiet. Stop being quiet. Hey, stop touching me. I don't touch you. Hold up, hold up. Hey, stop touching me. Stop touching me. Why don't you take this bike? Stop touching me. You can't touch him. I will. I can't. Exactly. So take it. So take it. Hello, Sarah Jane Comrie. Absolutely disgusting and revolting move you tried there. Uh, shout out to those guys there who showed absolute restraint. This tactic is used on men of color quite often. And what's really scary about it is a lot of times these lies work and put the lives of men like the men you saw in that video in very real danger. While Sarah may have deleted her social media accounts, her husband did not. Hello, Sarah. Far, far too long have uh, uh, women, white women in this country been allowed to get away with accusing black men of doing stuff to them. Uh, but this, this Karen here, uh, she has been caught in the act. Caught in the act. Look at this. Look, look, look at this. And, and you talk about acting. She, she clearly is acting. Nothing wrong with her. And uh, the Bellevue Hospital. Look at this. The Bellevue Hospital has released a statement of this employee attempting to take the city bike from the young black male. He, he had paid for it, reserved it, and she tried to steal it. This, um, she tried to do this, and, and of course, uh, the hospital uh, that she works at has made a statement. You're going gonna to try to tell him he needs to reset it. He's the one that reserved the bike, and she's trying to steal it. Look at this. This is the kind of stuff that got Emmett Till killed, lying. White women lying on black men, a young, young black men. Craziness, craziness. Uh, so the hospital that she works at made a statement, and they said that we have recently become aware of an incident that occurred off campus over the weekend, and it appears to involve one of our employees. We are sorry this happened, and we are reviewing the incident. NYC Health and Hospital uh, Bellevue is committed to providing the highest quality of care to New Yorkers with dignity, cultural sensitivity, and compassion. Uh, as you can see, they don't want any parts of this drama. They, they, they don't want any parts of it. And, uh, of course, it, it, it's understandable that, <laughs> that they don't want any parts of it. Uh, I, I get it. Uh, but uh, something more needs to be done about this. A, a message has to be sent to uh, white women that you cannot do this. These these young men handled it better than I I would have been able to. Uh, so uh, here you go. I, I don't I don't know if I would have been able to keep my uh, composure the way that uh, these young men did. Uh, but they they really uh, deserve uh, commending uh, for the way that they handled uh, this uh, Karen. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Of course, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok, at the Dominic K Show. Of course, on fire-tv.com. Take a quick break, and we'll be back with more of the show after this. Visit onfiretv.com for live top stories, breaking news, and original shows. Welcome back. Welcome back. Your man, Dominic K in here. Of course, the Dominic K show on fire-tv.com, on fire-tv.com. So as I said, yesterday was Mother's Day. And, you know, every weekend you're going to see some craziness happening. You're going to see some craziness happening. And uh, hundreds of white supremacists, uh, I don't know, this, they were just so scared. You're right. If if you guys are are, are so tough, why, why you got masks on your face? Hundreds of, of white supremacists marched at the Capitol. They had shields, uh, and and uh, videos were posted to social media showing 
uh, them. This group is called the Patriot Front March. Anyway, they uh, were carrying shields and battle drums uh, over uh, the Mother's Day weekend. At least 150 members of this far-right group uh, wearing masks to conceal their identity. Right? You're so tough. Why don't you show your faces? Show your faces. You can you can hear uh, the uh, little chance. I mean, this this is the kind of stuff that it, it is really sickening. This is the kind of stuff that is, is really sickening. So they're in Washington, D.C. Videos posted to social media showing them carrying American flag and holding signs that, that, that read, Reclaim America. Reclaim America. When you say reclaim America, who has America? Like, what are you talking about? Like, this is, this is foolishness. This, this is, is utter foolishness. Uh, the ADL, the Anti-Defamation League, and others are talking about the increase in uh, white supremacist activity in the last couple of years. More than 6,700 incidents uh, reported throughout the year. And this is, these guys aren't tough. You aren't scary. You look like a bunch of clowns marching down the street with these masks on. Because my thing is this, if you, if you feel a certain kind of way, stand on it. Show your face. Show your face. These are these are clowns, and and this kind of activity, this kind of cowardice, has to be called out. It has to be called out. You cannot let the, you not give them an inch. I'd like to know who these people were, so we can expose them, expose this uh, uh, race racist ideology, expose them. That's what we got to do. You listen to the Dominic K Show, of course, here at On Fire TV, onfire TV.com. Welcome back. You made Dominic K in here. And as I said, we got a lot of stories to get into, a lot of things to talk about. Um, and uh, some good news, a um, a miracle, even uh, a, a miracle. Uh, so whenever we get to report some good news, I'm always happy about it. Uh, but this 10 year old, uh, she's from Indiana and uh, they are calling her a miracle. They're calling her a miracle. Her name, uh, Serenity Boyd, and she was blessed with a second chance after a long couple of years battling a number of health issues. She contracted COVID three times. Now, she was already uh, dealing with severe kidney damage. And every time she got the virus, her transplant process was delayed. So Boyd underwent dialysis three times a week to aid her kidney functions by flushing out the toxins and excessive water in the bloodstream. So uh, now her blessings, uh, we're talking about the blessings and we're talking about the miracle, finally came and she was able to receive her transplant in late April. So last month, process went smoothly. The young girl is reportedly feeling better than ever. She said that she feels so wonderful. I can drink whatever I want. I can eat whatever I want. The experience um, has... Uh, definitely had a lasting impact on her and she envisions herself becoming a nurse so she can help others like she was helped. Now, if she is not, uh, you know, taking charts in the hospital, uh, she may be charting in music. She wants to be a singer as well. Uh, but for now she has a new lease on life, uh, after this, uh, young lady, uh, 10 years old, received this long awaited kidney transplant um, happy to to report that i mean it, so often we have to talk about things that are not good so often we have to talk about uh sad things so uh, i'm just i'm just happy that we have a uh, a, a good story here good story to report uh, just tuning in. It's the Diamond K Show on fire-tv.com, on fire-tv.com. We'll take a quick break, 
and uh, we'll be back with more of the show. I got a lot of other stories to get into. So we've been talking about it, and you're going to hear me mentioning this more and more because we are going to be streaming from this event. Uh, but not only that, this is an indoor-outdoor pre-Memorial Day Adidas party. So break out those shoes, break out the outfits. It goes down at the Patapsco Arena Sunday, May the 28th from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. Check this out. Two ballrooms, an outside tent. So this is outside, inside, indoor, outdoor. Check out this all-star DJ lineup. DJ Tons, DJ Kenny K, DJ Booby, DJ Scotty B, DJ One Love, DJ Gutter. Oh, I'm not finished yet. DJ Manny, DJ Kiwi, Mr. Incredible, DJ Double L, DJ Hot Toddy, all hosted by April Watts, Ryan DeLion, Big Status. There's free limited food, cash bar. Tickets are only $30. Tables are $300. And you can get those tickets right now. Now, check this out. You've got to have a ticket to get in this event. Let me say that again. This is a ticket only event. So you got to get those tickets. DTLR, MNK Music Warehouse, Security Mall, Silver Star Restaurant, 801 Bonaparte, uh, their cash app at Terry T Productions, Zell 443-953-1966, Terry T Productions, 443-953-1966. This is a ticket only event, no ticket, no entry, no exceptions. The indoor outdoor pre Memorial Day Adidas party at Patapsco Arena Sunday, May the 28th from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. Now, check this out. This is for grown folks. I understand some of, the, some, of, some of our young listeners and some of our, uh, you know, young viewers. This is not the party for you. This is a grown folks party brought to you by Terry T and Sean Marshall. The pre Memorial Day Adidas party. We're going to be streaming live from this event, streaming live at onfire tv.com. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. Get those tickets right now. Welcome back. Welcome back, you man. Dom K in here. And, you know, when you see something happen over and over and over again, um, you know, it, it kind of loses, it, it loses the the sting, it loses the luster, it it loses the impact, and you can you can make the excuse for someone once, you can make the excuses for someone twice, uh, but as I said, repeated behavior, uh, things are going to be affected. Repeated behavior is going to to cause us to I, I I don't want to say we give up on John Morant because that's what we're talking about John Morant and uh Stephen A Smith says that John Morant has been associated with guns more than he's been associated with winning so what are we talking about why is this being said well it is kind of easy to to figure that kind of easy kind of kind of easy to figure that out so what we have is we have a young man who you know come coming from the streets you know as as many of us are coming from the streets and i understand that I get that. I get that he has friends and, you know, he's young, he's 23. And many of you have been 23 before. And, and you understand the amount of pressure that the young man is, is, is under. But if you're trying to get, you're trying to keep your family out the hood, right? You're trying to become bigger than you were. Better than you were with, with, with new opportunities. Now, some folks are going to say, and these are the folks that are making excuses, but because he, 
he just a few months ago, if, if it was even that long ago, a few months ago, he's on Instagram flashing the gun. Right? Now, some people say, oh, First Amendment rights, da 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 da. Right? And I just, I don't understand. I don't understand why people can't seem to get this through their heads. When you are under contract, when you are a professional athlete, you have a a morality clause. You can't just do anything that you want. And some people are like, what about his First Amendment rights? What about his First Amendment rights? Okay, this is not a situation that your First Amendment, it, it even comes into play. There is a morality clause for these professional athletes. We know that. Now, there's not, surprisingly, a morality clause for your politician. You can have your former president trying to be new president or, or trying to be president again, having been convicted li uh, uh, of libel, sexual battery, defamation, all kind of... of uh, uh, you know, issues with their companies. You can have, you can tax fraud. You can have the politicians can do a whole bunch of stuff. But these professional athletes are in a different situation. They sign, and if you don't, if you don't want to abide by the terms of the morality clause in your contract, yo, don't sign the contract. Then you can do whatever you want. And the thing that the other thing that's surprising me, even he's flashing the guns, right? You got the guns, he's singing the songs. Cool. Why are you taping it? It's it's like you're putting it out there to dare people to respond. It's, it's like you're putting it out there to dare them to say anything. Strangest thing. It, it's it's the strangest thing that I've seen. It, it's it's so strange because. He knows that he has endorsements. He knows this. He knows he has endorsements more than we do. He knows the terms. He claimed just a few short months ago that he was going to be better. They made excuses for him. This, this is what happens when you protect people. He's his own worst enemy right now. He's his own worst enemy. And John Morant is talented. John Morant is, he has the potential to be an even bigger star than he already is. But many times, and you, you all know people like this, people that are in the streets, that are talented, but the streets just keep calling them. I don't know if John Morant's one of those guys. I don't. All I know is that if he continues on this path, if he continues down this road, he's going to be out of the NBA and then he's going to be back, I guess, in the hood amongst his friends. And then they're not going to even want to hang with him. Now, we can't blame his friends because John Morant's a grown, grown, a grown, he's a grown man. He's a grown man. We cannot blame his friends. He's making these decisions. He's deciding what he wants to do. And it seems like he doesn't want to go by the morality clause. He does not want to, uh, uh, you know, deal with the terms. And, and so, yes, you average everyday Joe Blow, you can have your gun. And, and, and if it's legally if it's registered and all that, it's not going to be any problems. Although you shouldn't be flashing the gun on social media. Like, what is what are we talking about right now? Hundreds of millions of dollars. This is not a good example to be set. And it and it's and it's sad. It's it, it's sad, but I don't feel sorry for him. I, I don't I don't feel sorry for him one bit. I don't. Sorry. I mean, it, you know, maybe you do. Maybe you do. It's nothing for him to be celebrating. 
I love this meme right here. Damn, you got suspended on your day off. Ja Morant. I mean, what's what is next? What 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 is next for this young man? I don't know. Now he's suspended, and it's it's only going to continue. Uh, and if let, let's say that he does this again, but let's say that he does this again, then what's going to happen? Then what's going to happen? I mean, are you trying to get fired? I mean, is he is he is he trying to 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 lose what he has? He could face a significant suspension. Uh, for the start of the 2023-2024 NBA season over this latest controversy. So, so he has this video, him with the gun, servicing online. Memphis Grizzlies could start next season without their best player for a significant period of time. Yeah, I, I think he's facing a, 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 a very lengthy, significant suspension. He got a what's called a smack on the wrist. Last time. Now, let's not even mention all the other controversies that he's had last year. But Morant's in a car with friends. Brief second. As the camera pans to him, he appears to be holding a gun on IG. And, of course, the video made its rounds on social media. Grizzlies then suspend the star guard. The league announces that they are doing an investigation. I don't know. I just I don't think that this is the best the best way to spend your time off. Uh, I understand that he's young, understand all of that, and and, and I'm and I and I feel you on all of that. Uh, but this is getting this is getting to be ridiculous. This is this has gotten to the point that it is ridiculous. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, of course, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok, at the Dominic K Show, of course, on fire-tv.com. All right, so we, uh, we're we back here. Now, the Cash App founder, Bob Lee, we talked about that. Uh, he was stabbed, and um, it is being reported that Bob Lee was having an affair with the killer's married sister. So uh, Wall Street Journal is reporting that the Cash App founder having this uh, romantic involvement with the married uh, sister. And, um, you know, sources say that uh, uh, Kazar um, and uh, Nima Momni Nina Momni, right? Uh, they're all part of this underground circle known as the Lifestyle, and uh, they're known for recreational drug use and casual sex, according to reports. Court documents show that Nima confronted Lee about the affair with his sister prior to the stabbing. On the night of the incident, Nima came to pick up his sister at a party uh, she was at with Lee, which is uh, where the confrontation took place. Nima also asked Lee if Kazar was doing drugs or anything inappropriate before arguing with Lee. Witnesses say that Lee um, uh, assured Nima that his sister had not taken any drugs or done anything inappropriate. Uh, Nima and Lee later arrived separately at uh, Kazar's apartment, and the two men then left the apartment together around 2 a.m. in Nima's white BMW Z4. Kazar texts Nima that she got home, uh, which read, just want to make sure you're doing okay, because I know Nima uh, came way, you know, hard on you. Uh, thank you for being such a classy man and handling it with class. Love you, selfish pricks. Uh, prosecutors allege that Nima drove Lee to a dark uh, in secluded San Francisco street corner and then stabbed him in a planned and deliberate attack. Um, uh, attorneys released a statement on behalf of their client. Uh, there are many rumors circu circulating around this case, they said. Many of them are untrue. And uh, Ms. Momini loves and supports her brother, the statement said. 
what happened here is a tragedy and miss momney is deeply saddened at the suffering of the lee family as they deal with this terrible loss wow it uh that's a crazy situation there crazy situation there now of course attorneys are going to tell you are going to say anything attorney attorneys are going to try to win the case for their clients so we have to take what the attorneys are saying with a grain of salt because they are just that they are attorneys for the accused and we don't know anything uh yet uh, but i'm sure that more details are going to surface in this terrible story. Welcome back. Um, this lady right here, they definitely, you want to talk about lock her up. This lady right here is a real piece of scum. Uh, Rena Rose Slayer, she's 26 years old. She has been sentenced to 30 years for, check this out, sexually exploiting an infant and another child. And here's the thing that, that has me, that, that just has me so angry. She had the nerve. She had the audacity to record it. Yes, she had the audacity to record it. So police uh, say that Rena admitted to creating these images and, 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 and uh, videos that sexually exploit this infant. She also sent a photo of herself having inappropriate contact with an infant to another person uh, last year. So this lady, this lady is sick. This lady is sick. She is, you know, uh, just look at her. She just looks crazy. She just looks crazy. So um, many of you, uh, I, there's a lot of things that we disagree about. But I don't think that anybody thinks that this defendant who not only abused an infant and, and in an unimaginable manner, not only that, but then she she had the nerve to share it. She sent it to somebody else. Like, like this is funny. Like, this is supposed to be sexy. It, it, is, it is really sad. Uh, officials said that uh, Rena met an undercover office, officer pretending to have sexual interests in children later that month online. During a conversation with the undercover officer, this nasty, nasty woman disgusting piece of trash sent the officer a sexually explicit image of the infant bragged about sexually assaulting the infant and uh, discussed her desire to engage in sexual acts with the undercover officer and the infant together. Look at that. I mean that we have got to, um, really put folks away like this. We have got to. So uh, definitely uh, this type of disgusting behavior uh, cannot be accepted. We can't make excuses for her. Uh, 30 years they have given her, 30 years. And, um, you know, so I, I'm sure she's not. there's not going to be a whole lot of fun and games when she goes to jail. Sure, it's not going to be a whole lot of fun and games at that time. You listen to the Diamond K Show on fire-tv.com. Welcome back. Welcome back. I have oftentimes on this program talked to you about uh, one of my favorite producers. Jermaine Dupree, one of my one, one of my favorite producers. So Jermaine Dupree, of course, we know um, very instrumental in helping uh, Lotto, the rapper, formerly I guess formerly known as Mulatto, uh, come on the scene. And people keep always saying, Jermaine, you dropped the ball on Mulatto or Lotto, right? And 
I, what, I, what, I don't, what I don't think people understand is I put Lotto's record out. The, the deal was, if you win on the rap game, you get a single from Jermaine Dupri on So So Dead. That single came out. The problem was, is that Lotto was 16 years old and the outlets didn't support it. And then nobody was like speaking on it. Nobody talked about it. You know, if you watch the TV show, you saw it, but yeah. if not, nobody was like, so people didn't start talking about Lotto till she started making more vulgar records, dressing more sexual, being an adult. So it made me be like, damn, so is these kids not accepted, right? That's all. Oh, uh, of course, not. Jermaine Dupri, now here's the, here's the thing. Jermaine Dupri has uh, made all kinds of records for uh, adults, for kids, uh, and, and all of that. Uh, now he he might be more known for making those uh, records that are, you know, have artists that are kids attached to him. He he might be he might be more known for that. Um, but no, here, here's the thing. I I understand everything that Jermaine Dupri was saying. He had this artist who is now popping, right? Now he was trying early in the career to get her moving, and he made you know he took the, he used the formula that he always is used with artists, which is pretty much clean cut, and um, you know just and just doing records for kids. That path did not work for him. I, I don't I don't know if he's had really a young female artist really pop. Usually they're young males. Um, if we talk about Criss Cross, if we talk about Bow Wow, and and that's because that fan base was girls. So when you have these kid artists, these these male kid artists, whether you're talking about a group, whether you're talking about a solo artist, the fans of, of kid rappers are usually going to be girls. And so if you have a, a lady, a, a young lady rapper, are you trying to say that the fans should be young boys? Because young boys are not going to be the fans of that of that young girl uh, rapper for the most part. So then it becomes maybe little girls would be the fans of Lotto is, is, is maybe what you're looking at. But I don't think that Jermaine Dupri, as talented as he is, I don't think that Jermaine Dupri is going to be able to spearhead music that little, that, that, that the little girl, young teenager would do, right? And so, but the teenager, she can, and Lotto took things in the direction that she wanted to take things. And as she grew as an artist, I think that she got better. Now, I understand this. I, I think that she got better as an artist and understood the game more. She's made records that Jermaine Dupri would not have allowed her to make if she was on social death. So shout out to her on that. Um, but Jermaine Dupri, I mean, you know, he's going to be all right. All right, let's not let's not get it twisted. Jermaine Dupri is going to be okay uh, with regards uh, to music, and sometimes it works out, and 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 sometimes it doesn't, and uh, it, 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 that's just that's just what it is. Uh, you're listening to the Diamond K Show on Fire Dash TV dot com on Fire Dash TV dot com. Uh, you want to support what we do here? Very easy to do that. Uh, you can become an On Fire Plus member. Uh, visiting onfire-tv.com. You can also pick up some merch from uh, onfire-tv.com slash shop right in our zones. Visit the web website and uh, click the shop button and uh, you can pick up some merch and all of that good stuff. Uh, last story before we get out of here. Uh, I wanted to end on a good note. Wanted to end on a good note. Not sure if... You are aware of this. Not sure. Many, many folks on uh, on my social media was not aware of this, uh, but there is a pillow fighting league. This is a pillow fighting league. Okay. Sounds crazy. Sounds crazy. Okay. This guy is not, he, he's knocked down. Saturday, they had the first TKO in pillow fighting championship history. All right, so you can check them out on Fight TV. Uh, so that there is a pillow fighting league, a pillow fighting league. Um, and so here, this is the website, uh, Fight 
pfc.com. You can watch uh, free pillow fights. <laughs> uh, it, it sounds so crazy, but so here's a, I guess is this is old, good old fashioned fun. Is that is that what you want to call it? Uh, but you know they have a gallery, they have a champion, uh, and, um, and and all of that. So maybe you maybe you've been aware of this, maybe not. All the pillow talk is here. They said they're on social media and all of that. The Pillow Fight Championship, also called the PFC. Do you have what it takes to pillow fight? Yeah, oh, this is a this is a serious thing. Uh, so let's look at let, let's look at some of these rules. All right, the Pillow Fight Championship rules updated uh, earlier this month. Uh, so uh, this is what you can do in in pillow fighting, um, and, and so you have rules here. So in pillow fighting, you can swing the pillow at full force. <laughs> That's something that we always did. Dodge, avoid strikes to the head. Incorporate showmanship into the fight. Perform special moves as defined. Only strike with the pillow. Hold all straps with one hand. Now, you cannot strike the point, opponent with any part of your body. Do not drop your pillow. Do not grab the opponent or their pillow. No pushing or charging. No two-handed overhead strikes. Yeah, so many, many of you, many of you, uh, we we posted uh, this on uh, uh, our social media at the Diamond K Show, and um, yeah, it's just it's just interesting. You look at this. This is the, the pillow fighting lead. Look at this. Look at it. Looks fun. Looks fun. Oh yeah. Got him, got him, got him. Oh, yeah. Look, it looks like it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, but uh that, as I said, check out the website and uh looks like a lot of fun. I'll be back here tomorrow, of course. Uh the Diamond Case show, 6 p.m. weekdays. Anyway, you get your uh podcast, just search the Diamond K show. Been a lot of fun. Need to get in touch with me, DJ Diamond K at gmail.com, DJ Diamond K at gmail.com so um I, like i said we'll be back tomorrow with a a whole lot of uh stories because th this is uh when this when the weather gets warm st stuff picks up stuff picks up when the weather gets warm and uh the weather is warm outside so we'll be back here tomorrow the diamond k show stay tuned y'all Thank you for tuning in to On Fire TV. We are a 24-hour independent news and entertainment channel. We produce original movies, documentaries, reality-based shows, and podcasts. On Fire TV is made possible because of viewer and listener support. Go to onfire-tv.com to become an On Fire Plus member. Your dollars and your support have kept us going, and we are just getting started. So we've been talking about it, and you're going to hear me mentioning this more and more because we are going to be streaming from this event. Uh, but not only that, this is an indoor-outdoor pre-Memorial Day Adidas party. So break out those shoes, break out the outfits. It goes down at the Patapsco Arena Sunday, May the 28th from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. Check this out. Two ballrooms, an outside tent. So this is outside, inside, indoor, outdoor. Check out this all-star DJ lineup. DJ Tons, DJ Kenny K, DJ Booby, DJ Scotty B, DJ One Love, DJ Gutter. Oh, I'm not finished yet. DJ Manny, DJ Kiwi, Mr. Incredible, DJ Double L, DJ Hot Toddy, all hosted by April Watts, Ryan DeLion, Big Status. There's free limited food, cash bar. Tickets are only $30. Tables are $300. And you can get those tickets right now. Now, check this out. You've got to have a ticket to get in this event. Let me say that again. This is 
a ticket only event. So you got to get those tickets. DTLR, MNK Music Warehouse, Security Mall, Silver Star Restaurant, 801 Bonaparte, uh, their cash app at Terry T Productions, Zell 443-953-1966, Terry T Productions, 443-953-1966. This is a ticket only event, no ticket, no entry, no exceptions. The indoor outdoor pre Memorial Day Adidas party at Patapsco Arena Sunday, May the 28th from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. Now, check this out. This is for grown folks. I understand some of the, some of, some of our young listeners and some of our uh, you know young viewers. This is not the party for you. This is a grown folks party brought to you by Terry T and Sean Marshall. The pre Memorial Day Adidas party. We're going to be streaming live from this event. Streaming live at onfire tv.com. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. Get those tickets right now. Looking for food that feeds your soul? Hoodfellas Bistro and Catering is your local African-American-owned restaurant offering American cuisine. Located across from the courthouse, we offer daily jury specials to reward civic duty. Enjoy our full-service restaurant and fully stocked bar. Dine in, pick up, delivery, and catering. Our themed happy hours feature live music, handcrafted drinks, and weekly specials. Book your private event at hoodfellowsbistrocatering.com.